Hey everybody, it's Jason with Kentucky Sustainable Living back. We're, uh, we took a small break with the chicken tractor on meth. I've just been super busy and hadn't flipped everything out yet. But uh, what we're doing right now, we're going to take our pile that is uh, in the cage. And uh, after we get all our other piles flipped, we'll flip everything out of the cage and start a new one. I went ahead our fourth pile. I hauled it out already down to the food force that we're gonna finish up here in the next couple weeks. So the compost is sitting down there. I'm gonna water it down and cover it so it'll stay nice and wet and won't dry out too much. But uh, I took three tractor buckets of uh, finished compost down there. I don't know the exact cubic yards on that bucket right now. I'll find out here in a little bit. But what we're gonna do now is just start moving some piles. Okay, we've gotten all our piles uh, flipped. We took everything out of the cage. Let me. There we go. Now we took everything out of our wire cage, flipped it over to here. The pile that was here, we flipped it and just continued to flip. We've got three piles right now. We're going to uh, start our new stuff in the cage. That'll give us our fourth pile. And like I said a few minutes ago, I took the finished compost and took it down to the uh, food forest where we can start spreading that compost out. Uh, now we're gonna start on a new one. All right, I've just got finished assembling uh, the wire cage. What we did, we put in uh, wood chips some uh, straw that had been sitting out, some waste straw, and then I took some grass clippings, put those in, watered everything down where it's nice and damp, and now I'm gonna take our other three piles, hose those down, make sure they're nice and damp. All right, let's look and see. I'm gonna kind of show you the uh, progression of how they go from each pile and what they look like. Right there is uh, the pile with the ring around it. That's that's from day one, that's where you start. That pile will get added to every day, get food scraps added to it, a little bit more straw, a little bit more grass, a little bit more wood chips every day, and we'll feed them inside there so they're gonna poop in there and put nitrogen in. Then after a week, it will come over here and you can see that some of it is starting to break down. You can still see some of the straw, some of the wood chips, you can tell what everything is. And then the next pile, you can really see it starting to break down more. You can see a little bit of straw. You can still see some of the bigger wood chips. They're still there, but you can see everything that's breaking down and how it's breaking down. And then this pile is our last pile. It's still a week out from being finished compost, uh, but you can see it's just breaking down more and more. And then after a week, uh, this pile will be ready and it'll be finished compost. All right, we're back. We're walking down here to uh, where I dumped the compost earlier. And we'll show you a picture of what the finished compost looks like and then a shot of the food forest as it sets right now. All right. There is a shot of the finished compost, what it looks like. I looked up the tractor specs to try to find the specs on the bucket. Couldn't find it real quick. I'm guessing there's close to a yard to a yard and a half of finished compost. Uh, from now on, what we're going to be doing uh, every week, we'll be getting a yard to a yard and a half of finished compost every week out of the chicken tractor on meth, which most of it we're gonna use down here on the food forest. I'll give you a quick shot of it. This is what it looks like for right now. It's not much. All right, uh, I just gave you a shot of the food forest as it sets and uh, the finished compost that we're gonna use. The 22nd of this month, we've got all our plants and everything ordered. Uh, I went to Self-Reliance Festival this last weekend. Uh, Billy and his wife, Michelle, taught the uh, guild class. 
learned a lot from there got some really good information on it so the 22nd of this month we're doing a uh, food forest and doing a guild class and using everything that i learned from there we're going to plant blueberries strawberries comfrey that i got from billy and michelle strawberries blueberries uh rosemary thyme oregano and there's a few other things that i'm not thinking of right off hand but we're going to have that uh, planted on the 22nd do an in-class thing for an hour or so and then come out and everybody's going to plant those show them how to plant them stuff like that uh, we'll have a video we'll video the classroom stuff video uh, us out here planting and kind of give some explanations and stuff like that but everybody thanks for watching this has been a quick video uh, the sun's getting low i've still got cattle to feed and sheep to do and uh, look after everybody else. Thanks for watching. Uh, do me a favor, like and subscribe. I appreciate it.